All right, so Ken and Lisa Waters Lane, you look like you've been outside working in the yard pretty good. So it's, uh, it's kind of sweltery. It's a little there. toasty. Yeah, the humidity. I can it's, take the heat. That humidity just. You know what the average humidity of Prescott, Arizona is, or this Central Highlands is no. for the month of July? I was just looking up the historical record: thirty-nine percent humidity. You know what the humidity was in Columbus, Ohio last week? <laughs> 94 percent humidity it's well, twice as much this is why i live in arizona <laughs> yeah, i know <laughs> but guess, still that's... guess what the most humid month is in the area the the most humid month is july august <laughs> and it's 44 percent. so it goes about five really? percent next month yeah so it's Rains gonna get more. worse it gets this yeah. is what you're telling me there's like a couple <laughs> points where it's still not you, you poor folks from the South, you, you refugees from the South and Midwest <laughs> where it's like a hundred Texas Ooh. is like, why would you live like in a swamp heat? What is that? Come to God's country. It's so much nicer here. Yes, it's hot, but it's not, but it's tolerable. It's not, you know, have we had a hundred degree day no, yet? Not at we all. Nineties, low nineties, yeah. which is normal for us. We generally don't see hundreds. Right. It'll pop up there real quick and mm -hmm. then it's right back down. But um, the lows are always in the sixties. Always. You can yeah. sleep with the windows open. Enjoy mm -hmm. listen to the frogs singing at you and the turtles croaking. Right? No, maybe not. We do have frogs in our backyard periodically. Yes, we do. The Arizona tree frog, they'll kind of mm -hmm. sing to us. It drives the neighbors crazy, but I like they're it. beautiful. Oh, I really like it. It's one of the things you. I enjoy, but yeah, the neighbor goes, it gives me a headache. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they are loud. One little tiny frog, they're a little bit bigger than a than a silver dollar. Yeah. Uh, if you can and you never see them. See them. You don't I mean, see them, just... yeah, but they can sure mm -hmm. yell. Yes, Come can. to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you got for this segment? You got you're going to inspire us with plants and gardening and advice. Yeah. And then I heard you were going to be doing some dancing. Some because I'm such a dancer. Yeah, yes. maybe, maybe just stick with the plants. I think probably. So I get a uh, when I'm on the nursery floor, which is frequently. People come in, and one of the questions they're still asking right now is, "Can I still plant? Is there time to plant?" And of course there is. This is a great time to plant. Great time to look, take a look at your yard and go, do I need more color? What do I need? Yes. Because this time of year, you can get a little one color-ish yeah. going. You yeah. know, if you're not careful, just green. Uh, but you have plenty of time to put in perennials now. And they will be well rooted out before winter hits. Oh, yeah. Uh, which means they'll take that cold temperature nicely and then come back next spring. Not only that, but they'll quadruple in size. Mm -hmm. They'll bloom from now till the end of the year. There's a lot of positives. So oh, it's yeah. way easier to, to plant now mm -hmm. than, let's say, March and April when brand new foliage is out. The temperature yeah. swings are so extreme. There's going to be more snow. There's going to be another frost. Right. It just wreaks havoc on the plants mm -hmm. now if you... If you make sure you water them and like a deep yeah. soak to the soil, mm -hmm. boy, they just really, you can actually encourage, you can have the roots chase the water mm -hmm. down deep into the, into the soil because it's right. so warm. Mm -hmm. So great time to plant. Um, and we have a lot of great stuff. So we really concentrate on bringing new stuff in all the time right. so that we have, it's not old and tired and, you know, yeah. been sitting there since April. We try to really keep the fresh stuff in there keep it so it's got a lot of blooms and colors. So I brought a few samples. Yeah, the gar the, the uh, studio smells <laughs> delicious. So this is a humongous daisy. Yeah. No. Now it's in a one gallon pot, but this plant is huge. No, it's crazy. It's insane. So this is a It looks like a five daisy. gallon Shasta it daisy, does. but it does. It's beautiful. Yeah, so that's a Shasta daisy, just your the one your grandma grew kind yeah. of thing. Um, but just prolific bloomers. So nice. I love the white out in the yard, actually, yeah. because white just shows up so nicely. It does, especially there. with dark colored like rock. Mm -hmm. You know, garden soil is generally dark. So you have that white, the 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 forest green foliage with that bright white flower and the cheery little yellow center. It's so mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, so very, very pretty. Great time to be putting those in. Mix in wonderfully in perennial beds, uh, raised beds, containers. Uh, just does really, really well. Another secret too. So, so inflation, there is inflation. Yeah. 
Yes. And so things are more expensive, but not when you're buying plants from Waters Garden Center <laughs> in the summer. Because what happened, this is a one gallon plant, but it looks mm -hmm. like a five gallon size. So you get really a five gallon because they grow so fast at the farm and here at the garden center. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're deadheading fertilizing trying to get them to bulk up and be happy you're getting a much <laughs> larger plant now than you would in the spring oh, yeah. for Definitely. the same amount of money so mm -hmm. this is the same one gallon price but mm -hmm. but it's got a much fuller bigger so that you can play the seasons to your advantage right. and get more plant for the same amount of dollars mm -hmm. just by timing your garden centers Anyway, I could go on and on about you the could. seasonality. Yes. Anyway, what's another plant you could share with so, us? Another plant I really like out in the garden. So, uh, so the one name for this is tick seed, which I'm like, who named them tick seed? I like the word tick. If I had another <laughs> daughter, I'd name her middle name would be tick. I'm like, why not just name it <laughs> pestilence and destruction? I don't know. <laughs> but coreopsis, it's one of the. It's in the coreopsis family. Yeah. Uh, but it still has that real pretty, almost light daisy type flower. But these are such, they're so prolific bloomers, you know, especially if you keep them deadheaded. Yeah. Take those spit heads That's and right. just tip them off. It'll just bloom, bloom, bloom. And it's just so pretty and kind it's of airy. It's kind of a citrusy kind of smell when you Does rub it? the foliage. It has a I can't smell. citrusy smell. So anyway, it's kind cool. of good, fun. But real pretty, the another full sun one. Uh, containers beds wherever you want to use it this is another one i mean this is 17 bucks mm -hmm. but it looks like a two gallon plant i mean it's it's yeah, a one gallon so size cool but it's so big mm -hmm. it's worth every dime of that for the for the amount of plant and the amount of flowers you're getting mm -hmm. and this will bloom if you pinch those off yeah it'll keep blooming right through no thanksgiving or so probably mm -hmm. after as you get close to halloween let them all go to to seed, to seed. so that they can feed your winter birds mm -hmm. and they'll they'll use this as a feed source right. through the harsher times <clears throat> of winter yeah well, that's a good plant for so that's a pretty one another one i really like to use out in the yard is agastache or hyssop uh reason i like this one is it's a great attractor for hummingbirds oh yeah oh my gosh so if you, you wanna... do beat it up you drop it like a couple times <laughs> okay thing. i'll be honest i did <laughs> <laughs> Oops. i was my hands were full as i was coming yeah. across the street so and i get that on I camera we're it. shooting this for the vlog so it's mm -hmm. videotaped we shoot off to signals az and our website and stuff, our newsletter, our insiders yeah. club, so they can see it. And then, then for the radio show, well, radio is just all about, we'll describe it well with lots more words. Theater of the mind. Theater of the mind. It's, <laughs> it's orange pep, paprika color. It's kind of a, okay. I was going to go coral, but I like orange yeah, paprika. paprika. There you go. I think it's called sun, sunrise red is oh, its actual oh. name. Yeah, so no, sunrise red. But the great thing about this one is it's also very animal resistant. Yo, very much. So if you've got javelina, bunnies, that kind of thing out there in the yard, this is in the herb family, yeah. agastache or hyssop. Uh, so it's very resistant to animals coming yeah. in and eating on it. I like this one better. So I've started putting more of these in. We have a lot of Russian sage. Mm -hmm. We've got the dwarf varieties. We've got new varieties out that stay shorter. They're not as weedy. So, so many Russian sages, you get them from the box stores and you're getting a weedy Russian sage. It just spreads across a yard. It gets too, it's too aggressive. Yeah. So we're introducing new like Lacey Blue. If it's got a, an adjective in the name, it's probably <laughs> a newer variety that's less weedy. Right. But this is even cleaner and neater and longer lived. Mm -hmm. And so this does not, it just keeps its shape perfectly vase shaped. Ours is about maybe about knee high or so out yeah. in the yard. It needs at least six hours of sun. And mm -hmm. you're right. The hummingbirds, they love this plant. Mm -hmm. They can't resist it. And the bunnies, the javelina, the deer, the rabbits, any more antelope, yeah. they don't bother this because it's got that herbly, when you rub <laughs> the foliage, it's got that real herbly, uh, it almost smells herbly like it's scent. A licorice yeah, it does have a licorice it. smell. Yeah. yeah. No, it's a licorice uh, mint chocolate chip. No, okay. I, I no, I have no idea. Anyway, Agastache. It's <laughs> Agastache, a great one. Yeah. Or what's the other name? Uh, hyssop. Hyssop. Right. Great choices for summer planting. Uh, let me put the plant down so I can <laughs> get to the board to, to, to wrap this thing up. Uh, Ken and Lisa Lane and the Mountain Gardeners. Be right back. Got more right after this.